Here we have a problem involving the law of conservation of momentum. We have two ice skaters who are both at rest. So before they push the other person away, their net momentum is zero. The law of conservation of momentum states that the net momentum does not change without the presence of an outside force. Since there is no friction, the total momentum of the system must be zero when the skaters start moving. They each have unique velocities when they move away from each other because they are different masses. The smaller mass must move faster than the heavier mass. We know the value for the small mass is 1.5 meters per second, so the heavier mass will have a velocity less than this in the opposite direction. The momentum for each mass is a product of their mass times their velocity. Now we will use the law of conservation of momentum to solve for our unknown velocity. The sum of the momentums before the motion has to equal the sum of the momentums after the motion. Here are the variables that we are given. The sum of the momentums are found by adding together the individual momentums before and after the collision. Since both momentums are zero before the collision, this simplifies our equation. We have the values for the momentums after the collision, and we can substitute them in for PM and PW. Now we need to isolate VM by taking it to the other side of the equation and setting 65 times VM equal to 45 times 1.5. We must divide both sides by 65. And now we can find Vm. Vm, the velocity of the man, equals 1.0 meters per second in the negative direction. 